hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to talk i'm going to talk about estimator in particular unbiased estimators and what we are interested about is the unbiased estimator of a variance so an estimator in general is some sort of a statistic that it as it is obvious from its name you want to estimate some facts about the population for example you want to measure have a rough idea of what is the mean height of the students of a school. So the number of students might be a thousand. So we probably it's impractical to assume we can take all of them out and take their heights and have a uh, report. So we have to take out a couple of them, like the 30, 40 as the samples and we take um, the estimate. So as you can see here, we have the mean estimate of the population, X bar from so on, we call it um, the mean. It's going to be equivalent to mu as well. So it's going to be add of all the samples we have divided by the number of the samples. So what is an unbiased estimator? So the unbiased estimator assume we have some sort of statistics about the, some random variables or samples that we're having. So if the expected value of this estimate of these statistics is equivalent to our specific target parameter, we say this S is an unbiased estimator of the parameter theta. So the parameter theta is uh, the target parameter we are interested to investigate. So let's assume our parameter theta is theta is variance. So if you have the variance of different multiple samples for the sake of this notation might be not um, that very accurate, but assume the expected value of x is going to be add them all to divide it by n and is going to be equal to mu. So if you take the E over all of these um, parameters. So uh, the variance of X is going to be E of X to the power of two minus E of, e of X, expectation of X to the power of two, which is going to be the variance, is the um, square of the standard deviation, sigma solely is going to be called standard deviation. And then we are going to um, conclude from this conclusion uh, that from this formulation that e of x to the power of 2 equals to mu 2 plus sigma 2. So, and the variance of x bar is going to be e of x bar to the power of 2 minus e of x bar, the whole thing to the power of 2. And just practice, it's going to be simple. Just prove that e of x bar to the power of 2 equals to sigma to the power of n over n plus. Um, Mu two. So this is the variance sigma to the power of two, and the sigma itself is a standard deviation, as we mentioned. So it turns out, if or theta is the standard deviation, which is the square root of um, variance, the unbiased estimator of the population is going to be the square root of one over n minus one sigma over x i minus x bar to the power of two, this formulation. Let's just go to the proof. So this is more advanced so, um, if you have enough information about the unbiased estimator of the variance, so you can just skip the rest of the video. But um, to make sure that you have a more in-depth in understanding of unbiased estimator of variance, so I recommend you to continue watching. So let's just uh, go forward. So the expectation of this S is going to be this formula. We just take E inside as this is the constant and let's just expand X minus, um, X R minus X part to the power of two. And we take um, this Sigma inside now, as you can see, we have A of X um, Sigma X to the power of two minus two X bar Sigma X I. So the Sigma X I based on the formulation that we had probably see is just simply N time x bar it's very simple and we have a sigma of x bar to the power of 2 which is uh, um, basically our parameter here if you take e inside that e of x bar to the power of 2 is a constant because we can take e inside that it's very simple it's just one variable it's not multiple variables so the result of e of that is going to be simply n multiply by e of x bar to the power of two and we can just discard the sigma so this is going to be as here basically as you can see the conclusion so and it is equal to we can substitute them um, the value of e to um, e of x i to the power of two which as we previously um, calculated here these two as we know so now just Go ahead and just um, we can uh, multiply um, put the basically e of um, 
n to x to the power of 2 so we didn't um, take the sigma out yet so it's going to be sigma to the power of 2 over n plus mu 2 so now if we take the sigma inside those are just constant we can have this simple formula so the mu 2 minus mu 2 is going to be crossed so we have n minus 1 over n sigma 2 and the sigma n minus 1 n minus 1 are going to be cross and we have n and the sigma back of the constant and simply it's going to be um, sigma as you can see it's been proven that this s is an unbiased estimator of the variance and just take a look at n minus 1 as you can see this is invalid if we have only one sample and we technically do not have any defined unbiased estimator so hope you enjoyed this video feel free to comment if you have any question or if you have any idea so i'd be happy to answer thank you so much for watching